Wait, wait, wait. Can we both? Can we like both? 120. 120 now. Go ahead and say it. We don't need the hype. Yes, I do. You don't need the hype. It's a big weight at Vader's Sherman Green. I've been training with my trainer, Liam Eels. We've been working really hard for this. He has his shoes on. So do you. All right. All right. Who cares? Right. Any, any questions from Mateo? No, 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 no questions from Mateo. All right. All right. Keep it clean. Come on. I said, I feel invisible. Yo, yo. They like puppy, what you're going to. <laughs> Behind the scenes of the big Ethan versus Mateo fight. Is Ethan warming up? <laughs> <laughs> He's a real fighter. Ethan better watch out, that's what he'll be saying. Five round match for the UJHT lightweight championship of the world. <laughs> in in the gray corner, weighing 150 pounds, debuting out of uh, West Effort, New Jersey. Mateo the Punisher Mangarino! Weighing 130 pounds. Ethan, Lil E, McConaughey! Hello, I'm Jake Hartman. And I'm Yusuf Abu Sadab. And this is UJHD Boxing, Mangarino versus Ethan. The biggest fight in the league's history. And now we're off. It's a big right hook. Mateo's swinging. Ethan seems to be backing up, trying to play a little more conservative. Yeah, I see that. Mateo going for the stomach. Oh, we've got to change the camera here. Ethan, oh, it's a big hit from Mangrino. The referee stopped it. Ethan looks like he took a big blow to the head there. Yeah. Just trying to recover. All right, we're back. The Las Vegas odds are in Mateo's favor, but... Oh, oh, a big hit from Mangrino landed on the right cheek. There we now go. Now he's squaring up again. Three. Oh. Very Ethan backs fight. up. Let's see if he can get back in this first round. He clinches. Now we're back at it. Ethan just trying to looks like he's trying to just avoid Mateo. It's been a strong round. start from Mateo, but oh it's a big hit from Ethan. He's he's pounding him. It's a big momentum swing in this fight. And now we're back in the center. Circling around the ring. A big, a big shot he misses. Oh, back to oh, the head. Back of the head. Oh, oh right in front of the camera. Ethan, absolutely going hammock on him. He's going all over Mangrino here. Now he runs away. We're back at the set. And we're off with round two now. A strong first round from McConaughey. What do you think? It looks like Ethan must have took that round. Took some, uh, hit him really hard towards the end there. Yeah, now a quick start to the second round. And uh, Tail looks looks like the aggressor here. Oh, he takes a big shot. Ethan ducks it. It's a bit of a tangle. Oh, Ethan! He hits him right in the face. It's a, huge it's a pounding. Seems like he's a little injured here. He's holding that nose. Now uh, they're squaring back up again. Ethan hit him with a big some right, heavy punches. A big there. right hook. He's telegraphing those shots. Ethan's avoiding them quite easily. Sprints away. Looking no, cover. oh, it seems like the referee's calling it off now. Oh, oh a we bloody got a bloody nose. nose from Matteo Mingarino. Yeah, well, uh... Let's hope Coach Luke Humes can help him recover so we can come back into this fight. Yeah, we'll see. If not, it'll have to be a knockout. And now, uh, you see the blood on that towel, and now we're going to an interview with Ethan McConaughey in a few seconds. So we'll send him over there. How do you feel about drawing blood to Matteo? Good start. Great start. Great finish. Oh, yeah, and we're back up and running in round two after that bloody nose. Mateo seems to recover. He has a bit of a uh, rag in his nose now. What do you 
you have some boxing experience, Huey. What do you think about the uh, bloody nose? Is it hard to do a fight with that? Um, it's going to bother him for a little bit, but soon he'll just get right back in the fight. And they're just dancing around the ring now. No punches being thrown. There you see a little jab from Ingrina. Seems like that injury isn't throwing him off any bit. Now, uh, still dancing around that ring. Oh, it's a big shot from Ingrino. Ethan ducks it, though. Both of them are just looking for an opening. Seems like a tight fight right now. Now, uh, it's, here we are in uh, round three. I think Ingrino might have edged him in uh, round two, despite the bloody nose. What do you think? Um, they each had a few hard blows, but I think I'd give that round to Mingarino. Yeah, I would have to agree with you there. Now we're back up and running on this hot, sunny day. You see that sweat drenching down Mingarino's back. Yeah, it looks like the coach might have thrown some water over him, trying yeah. to wake him up. It's uh, about 80 degrees today in uh, suburban New Jersey. And now uh, it's a bit of a standoff again here. Both uh, fighters just looking for an opening. You see Luke Humes in the corner, the trainer. Still no punches being thrown in this round. Nothing's uh, going on much. I might take a bite of my little sandwich here. Okay. Still a standoff. Now, uh, we we'll wait, just waiting for... Oh! oh! He goes for the big shot. Nothing going there. And now another jab, another jab. And now they're going at it. It's a big right hand, a big right hand. Oh! I think Ethan really got a good one on that right cheek. Yeah, it was a hard blow coming off the right side. Mateo couldn't even no. see it coming. Mateo coming right at him again, though. He's not phased by that at all, and now Ethan runs away. A little bit of a problem with the shoe there. Oh. And uh, a little bit of a delay now. Just waiting for that shoe to get back on, and now we're up and running. There you see McConaughey. No damage to his face. Mingrino with that bloody nose, and now it's a big jab. Big. I don't know what that was from Mingrino. Now they're tangling up. Being broken up by the ref. Now they're back in. Here we are up and running in round four. Both tire, both fighters are probably tired by now. Yeah, it's boxing is a very tiring sport. It doesn't look so to the eye, but uh, it really tires you out. Now, oh, it's a big right hand. It's a big right hand over the top. I mean, Greeno lands two big shots. Ethan coming right back at him. Oh, Boom. it's a big right hand. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Boom. Now... Fighters back in the ring. And, uh, it's a, uh, even, oh my god, two huge punches from Magrino. Not landing any of them, though. Ethan is blocking, blocking. Oh, oh he hits a big one. The hands are getting wrapped. Oh, He's behind the head. Them. He's pulling the punches on. And now they're back in the center. This might be the best round so far. And Magrino standing off for now. He has that right hand poised for a strike. And now they're getting a little tangled up here. And then they're back in the center now. This has been a very even fight so far. Ethan coming your, towards uh, him. What do you what do you think of Ethan's strategy? Oh, oh, it's a big He's hitting him all over the place. Hook, hook, jab. It looks like Ethan is uh waiting for Mateo to make a move and then pouncing off of it. Yeah, you got that right. He's been on fire so far this round. And now Mangrino with an uppercut. He misses. Another big shot over the top, easily dodged by uh, McConaughey. Hits him with a little left uppercut there. And now this is the deciding round, round five. And Green has rolled the sleeves up. You know he's serious. He's going right at uh, McConaughey here. And, and Greeno uh, really needs this round after the last round. Yeah. He could still has a chance in this fight. It's a big, big jab, big uh, punch over the top there. Not landing any shots. Oh, it's a big right hand from McConaughey onto the head of Mangrino. Another back. Mangrino looks angry. Oh, angered. he's pounding him. Oh, I can't even tell who's landing the punches now. It's just a bunch of wild arms. Now they're back in the center. It's a straight, street ball straight at him. him. It's more like a street fight than a boxing match. It's being blocked by the referee here. Can't see anything. Now we're back at it. Big left hand from uh, Mangrino. Big right from McConaughey to respond. Now they're getting tangled. Another big right. Mangrino has to wave that hair out of his eyes. Oh, over the top. I think he might have landed that one. I'm telling you, Hartman, by this point in the fight, you're just feeling gassed, trying to get through the last round. Yeah, now I mean, McConaughey's pounding. Another left. Another right. He's hitting him from the back here. That's against the rules of boxing. Ref will break him up here. 
Oh, they're gonna dance around the ring for a few more seconds. And that's a big left hand. Score the match. Three, two, Ethan. Three, two, Mateo. And a winner by unanimous decision. Ethan, you can't give your new UJHD lightweight champion of the world. The face of sadness. Not on the camera. My trainer's camera shot. What do you have to say about that fight? Uh, it was a good fight. Uh, shout out to Mateo. He's a good fighter. Uh, shout out to my trainers, to my left and right. They're a big part of it, and uh, in the rematch, I hope I can win again. No, you know, don't mention it now. Right, right. Right. The press is engaged. Uh, what do you have to say about that fight, Mateo? Uh, Close. I really underestimated him. I have strength on him. I have weight on him. He was just. We had conversations. It was close. I think a couple behind the head, behind the heads on me, but he also hit me in the brother a couple of times. But how how will you prepare it, for the rematch? I'm gonna train a lot harder this time. Hopefully, come back. And hopefully take a W next time. Take that championship back. Yeah, yep. you want it. He wants it. All right. Thank you, Mateo. Yep.